a series on some of the most impactful sports stories in the Valley. Tonight's 12 for 12 feature on ASU defensive coordinator Danny Gonzalez's family and how one member in particular has helped bring them closer together. Every dad should have a little girl. It, it, it gives you a different perspective. We really feel like we are blessed to have Abby in our family. She makes us better people, that's for sure. Danny and Sandra Gonzalez's family was changed when they welcomed little Chloe into the world. I thought I was uh, meant to be a, a boy mom. And when the doctor said it was a girl, I'm like, are you sure? You need to recheck. Are you sure? And uh, he was like, oh, yeah, she's a little girl. And I'm like, oh, my goodness gracious. What, what, are you gonna do what am I going to do with a girl? We always laugh. I'm like, well, I'm glad that God knows better, because if I could have picked, I would have chose to have two more boys. 19 months later came Abby. It changed your life. I mean, it absolutely. God gifted the Gonzaleses a healthy baby girl born with Down syndrome. Maybe what we thought would be a tough time in our life it really wasn't. I mean, it's just a diagnosis. It's not a definition of who she is. I mean, it's just, just part of who she is. She has blue eyes, she has Down syndrome, and she's just like everybody else. It's a description. It's not her definition. And the Gonzaleses have fought to provide the same life and education for Abby a battle that began while living in California. You have a diagnosis and automatically they want you to put you in California. It's called a special day class. And we had to, you know, fight, dig fight, our fight. heels in and say, you know, like, no, that's not what we're doing. That's not, that's not acceptable. And then so when we came here, I was like, oh gosh, I'm gonna Which have this fight all over again. Agree. Yeah, they did finally agree in San Diego. So I was like super relieved. And then, you know, here we are a year later, we're moving to a different state with different rules and different laws. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is, I can't do this again, can I? We went to the school and they were all about Abby being um, in the gen ed classrooms and she starts kindergarten now in the fall. And the stuff she fought for in San Diego, which was awesome because it was a pretty good fight. Now some kids that have come up with Down syndrome behind Abby, they, that's they what they it. offer. I mean, yeah, they, it's, they have had a little bit do. easier path. And so I just kind of feel like it's great. Like if we can change one person's mind, change one school's mind, one school district, it's just educating people that this is. Yeah, they saw Abby thrive yeah. in that environment and how productive and how benefiting it can be for everybody, not just Abby. For Danny, she's even had an impact on the way he coaches his football players. And if you hang around this little girl dressed in pink, she might teach you a thing or two as well. We all need to learn from each other. She's going to teach you just as much as you're going to teach her. No it may be even more, <laughs> to be quite honest. I mean, I wear this necklace. It's, um, it says the lucky few, and it's what like the Down syndrome community has kind of embraced and what we say, and we do feel that way. I think we really feel like we are blessed. Danny and Sandra said they also feel very grateful for the, for the culture and the family environment that head coach Herm Edwards has created over at ASU. Coop. All right, cheers and great story there.